This is an excerpt from Chapter 4 of The Curse of the Bloodwood by Heather Carter. With his hand around mine, we climbed the hill until we were near the top. When we came to a stop, I turned and looked at the starlit dell. It was quiet and peaceful, even with evil sleeping in the house beyond the orchard. The gentle breeze washed over us, bringing relief after our exertion. I took a deep breath and soaked it in. Pandras released my hand. He lay down on the grass and padded the space next to him. Come, lie down or you'll miss it. I arched a brow. Miss what? He laughed. You'll see, silly. Taking a deep breath, I bolstered my nerves. I trusted him, and I wanted desperately to stay by his side. So I adjusted my skirts and carefully lowered myself to the ground. With my knees bent to keep from sliding down the hill, I lay on my back and followed his gaze upward to the sky. Stars, as wide and deep as the eye could see, stretched before us. Subtle shades of color swathed through the bands of twinkling lights like a painter's mark. It was more beautiful than any sky of stars I had ever seen. And then, the first light streaked across the canvas. It was a small ball of white, shooting fast, with a glittering trail behind it. I gasped. I saw a falling star! Keep watching, it's only just getting started. Soon, there was another, followed by a third. Before long, the stars were streaking across the sky so often I lost count. I had seen stars fall before, but nothing like this. It was like every one of them was brightened and infused with magic, as if they were falling just for us. Oh, Pandras, it's beautiful! Some beauty is only seen when it's darkest. The gentle way he spoke those words stirred a curious feeling within me. Somehow I knew he wasn't just speaking of stars. Moments went by before I felt Pandras's hand brush against mine. My pulse quickened. Still, I kept my eyes on the sky. His fingers slid under my hand and gently intertwined with my own. A beautiful warmth blossomed from the point of contact and spread up my arm before washing through my whole body. Our hands fit perfectly together. Rolling my head to the side, I met his clear eyes. His usual cheery grin had faded. In its place was a soft look that spoke volumes, more than words ever could. We lay there, under the brilliant canopy of falling stars, taking in the light in each other's gaze instead. Pandras's thumb brushed the outside of mine, sending a current of warm shivers running through me. It was a pleasant feeling that I didn't want to end. There were no words that I could find to express it. I can see the stars in your eyes, Lilia, he whispered. A smile stole over my burning cheeks. My eyes were a dull shade of bluish gray. I never thought much of them. The way he was looking at me, one would think he saw the universe. I squeezed his hand and he returned the gesture. Somehow, some way, things were shifting between us. It had happened so quietly, so naturally. There I was, amid torment, finding an oasis. This has been an excerpt from Chapter 4 of The Curse.